Hi folks, this is Kim here from fit to drive and I'm at the uh, Pakenham test area with one of my students. Now, I'm making a little movie about this today because we're going to do a right-hand turn at a T intersection that has traffic coming from the right on one side of the road and traffic coming from the left on the other side of the road. It can be a little bit of a tricky manoeuvre. It is an actual test area, okay? We can stop in the middle of the road uh, when we get across. I'm going to demonstrate uh, what we're going to do right now. So Crystalline's going to do a leaving the curb manoeuvre and we're going to go down and do a right hand turn at a T intersection. When you're ready Crystalline. Okay done a very good leaving the curb manoeuvre which as we all know is five seconds on the indicator sweeping around the uh, the car with your eyes and making sure that the chin goes over the right shoulder before you move your vehicle so here we are now as you can see it's a T intersection we have traffic from the right on one side in the middle we have our little island then from the left, we have traffic from the left. And as you can see, it's quite busy. What we've got to be very careful of is cars turning in front of us, as you can see with this uh, Jeep or this Suzuki right here. So we're actually going to be sitting at this intersection for a few seconds, and I'm just going to put that on pause, or actually I'll let it keep going. So again, I brought the camera around to the right side of the road. You can see there are still cars coming, but we can't actually move because as you can see, there are cars coming from the front of us doing a right-hand turn. So until that is clear, we will need to sit here and focus in your driving test. You just sit for as long as it takes. If it takes five or six minutes or 10 minutes, then that's exactly what you need to do. And someone's just been beeped. As you can see, this car here has blocked the road. <laughs> so it can be quite a, a tricky little maneuver, this one. And again, you just need to take your time. So we've still got a number of cars that are turning in front of us so we're going to be sitting here until that side of the road and those cars that are turning in front of us that particular lane is clear now it looks like we've got two vehicles that have gone. No, we've got another two vehicles coming up. So this is a real test. Again, right in the middle of the road there's an island where we can position our car, but uh, it's extremely busy here at the moment. So I'll just put this on pause until we're able to move. Okay, now we've still got another one. I thought we'd be able to move. He's doing a U-turn, so we're going to check the right side of the road. If it's clear, we're going to move across. And it is clear, so Crystalline's going to move across. Here's our little island, so we're staying right here in the middle of the road. We're checking the left side of the road, seeing that it's clear when the car goes, and away you go. Now, fantastic. Well done, Crystalline. Now, what Crystalline did then is she finished in the right-hand lane, which was fine. In a driving test, your assessors may say to you, finish in the left-hand lane. So all that means is Crystalline would have moved into the lane to the left. This is Kim from fit to drive I hope you enjoyed um, this little video. As I said, it is a test area around Pakenham. And don't forget, you can get a free lesson by just simply going onto my website, www.fit2drive. Thanks again.